And a big warm welcome to everyone on Animal Studio. Yay! Today we are going to turn into animals wearing these paper masks. And all we need for this are paper plates. So if you have any paper plates, dig them out and let's get started. On the paper plate, we have cut holes for the eyes. Once again, take the help of an elder because it's a little tricky. So let's turn over the paper plate and paint it a bright hue of blue. Should I paint this? Of course. You get a big brush, dip it in the water, paint and big strokes. Now that the blue paint has dried, we're going to make holes on either side of the mask. Make sure that they're in line with the eyes as well as with each other. One straight line. There you go. In the holes that we've punched, string through some elastic or any ribbon of any colour that you like and that will help you tie your mask. This is done. Now we're going to draw out the trunk and the ears for the elephant. We'll make two large floppy ears for the elephant. Make a little flap and nice and big with a flap. Here you go. That's for the right side and I'm going to make one for the left ear. The next important thing is the trunk of the elephant. So we're going to draw a U-shaped trunk, a little thick at the top and a little narrow at the bottom. And going up like this and round it off like this. That looks nice. With the ears cut out, I'm going to just give an outline here and make it a nice pink colour. Aditi can paint that for me. You can paint it any which colour you like, a blue, a purple, a pink, a yellow, whatever. The ears are painted and drying while we outline the trunk and give it some fine lines on it. Just go along the outline of the trunk with a black marker. I'm going to give it some lines now, just a few things like this. The ear is ready so I'm going to outline the ears now. So next we're going to stick the trunk and the ears of the elephant. I'll put the glue and you stick on the ears. One on either side. Slightly higher, that's it. And one on the other side. It has nice flappy ears. Yes, and let's put in the trunk next. Should we put it here? Just where the nose should be, right? Turn it around, add some blue. It is looking like an elephant now. Yes, it is. Now we will dress up our elephant and make a cool headgear for him. Just a triangular scarf. So roughly measure the forehead and we'll draw accordingly. Just a triangle like this. Aditi, why don't you cut this out for me? Now our headgear is ready. But before we get on with decorating it, we're going to turn this over, put a strip of double-sided tape and add some feathers to it. One strip and maybe another one for a better hold. And if you don't have double-sided tape, no need to fret. You can use any glue, it works fine. I'm using this because it dries a little faster. Let's put the feathers. Can you put the purple one? Great, why don't you do that the next? Excellent, okay. Next colour. Another red one. Put it this side. Is three good enough or you want to put some more? Let's put two more. The blue this side and the purple this side. Okay. okay. Excellent. Because the elephant is such a big animal, so we're going to have lots of big things. It looks like a royal elephant. Yes, it does. Should we decorate it with sequins? Okay. Yes? Alright. I'll put on some glue and you decide and put whatever you like. 
you can put lovely jewel sequins you can put some mirrors all the color you want our elephant is fit for a royal procession it's time to say goodbye but i promise you i'll be back soon with lots of fun activity on animal studio till then be good and bye bye